I have three poems that I wrote after Patrick's death in love of him. Almost a children's story. One day, you met a fox by the railroad tracks. Both of you stopped in the tall grass and looked at one another. Don't make a big deal out of this, said the fox. I'm just a fox. One day, you met a magpie high in the spruce. Both of you stayed still and looked at one another. Don't make a big deal out of this, said the magpie. I'm just a magpie, but if you want to help, tell the monk to put away his rifle. I won't eat the robin's babies. One day, you met a snake between the raspberry bushes. Both of you froze and looked at one another. He'd been sipping the clear liquid around the mouths of the bottles hidden in the woodpile, the ivy, the brambles. When he spoke, he slurred and hissed. It was hard for you to listen, but you're sure he didn't say, I'm just a snake. Did this mean he was someone else? It was a haunting, a visitation? Why is it the bad days come back and not the good? Parcel. In the bag I carry from the crematorium, you weigh more than the heart of a horse. How do I know how much that is? I don't. But I say to myself, you weigh more than the heart of a horse. In this poem, I begin it with a question from Elizabeth Austin's poem this morning. Watercolor. Did you see the magnolia light its pink fires? inside the white, white blossoms. You were gone by then. Two months before spring unfurled the buds. I don't know what you see where you are now. If you have a view of the garden, like the one we climbed the roof to see, bird's eye, bat's eye, eye of passing cloud. The pond to me looks sad Water lilies that opened in your poems bloom once and then give up. My fault, perhaps. I don't know if I'm to push into their soil a fertilizer tab the size of the Tums that settles in digestion. I seem to remember you did that when you waded in bare-chested in your underwear, deleted expired buds and leaves, your long legs white as magnolia blossoms and cold. We had an eternity together. Today it feels like just a day, dawn seeping into dusk, the minute the painter slides his wet brush across the homemade paper, no pencil lines to separate and make a difference. Just water running into water and becoming something else.